President Rodrigo Duterte will meet with governors from all over the country on Thursday in Malacanang to discuss his final list of suspected drug personalities. This after busloads of mayors went to the palace to discuss the same list with Duterte on January 10. Duterte also threatens to kill local government officials who will go to him for help if they are identified as being involved in the illegal drug trade. He says, quote, Believe me, I will find a way to ambush you, poison you. Duterte earlier warned mayors benefiting from the narcotics trade to either resign or face death. A year after he got worldwide attention for cursing Pope Francis, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte writes a letter to the leader of the Roman Catholic Church to personally thank him for visiting the country in 2015. Peace advisor Jesus Dureza, who is in Rome for the third round of talks with communist rebels, says he's hoping to hand Duterte's letter to Pope Francis during a side trip to the Vatican on Wednesday. In the letter, Duterte thanks the Pope for his January 2015 visit, despite the traffic it cost. He says, quote, The Philippines values its special relations with the Holy See and regards with gratitude Your Holiness's gracious stewardship of the Catholic faith. Duterte cursed Pope Francis for causing traffic jams in Metro Manila. Duterte later claimed he was cursing the traffic itself after coming under fire for attacking the Pope. Senator Antonio Trillanes wants a Senate probe into the proliferation of online trolls and fake news on social media. Trillanes, a critic of President Rodrigo Duterte, is also a subject of attacks online. He says trolls and fake news threaten, in his words, the viability and credibility of online journalism, adding they violate a citizen's right to truthful and accurate online news and information. Trillanes says the probe aims to protect the public from manipulation done through the spread of fake news and holds authors and distributors of fake news accountable under the law. The Malacanang Press Corps slams Communications Secretary Martin Andanar for accusing its members of misreporting President Rodrigo Duterte's recent statements on martial law. In a statement Wednesday, the MPC says it takes exception to Andanar's accusation that the media misreported Duterte's threat to declare martial law last Saturday. The MPC says it issued the statement after its officers reviewed its members' published reports on Duterte's martial law remarks. Some reports also featured video of the president's statement. The MPC says a review of Duterte's speech would reveal that the media merely paraphrased or translated some of his lines. It also urges Andanar and his staff to read reports on Duterte's statements in full instead of just reading the headlines. The MPC adds it's disturbed by how some administration officials blamed the media whenever Duterte's statements drew criticism. United States President-elect Donald Trump says he doesn't like tweeting, despite his rants and policy pronouncements on Twitter. In an interview with Fox News, Trump says, quote, I have other things I could be doing, but I get very dishonest media, very dishonest press, and it's the only way that I can counteract. Since winning the presidency in November, Trump took to Twitter to make administrative announcements, weigh in on foreign policy, and slam his critics. The U.S. president-elect says he will continue tweeting.